Vandals hit a place of worship on LA's west side, and the timing of the attack coincided with a major Jewish holiday. KKLN's Erica Nochlin is live in Santa Monica, where a synagogue was the prime target. Erica? Yeah, Peter, it's definitely unsettling for people at this synagogue and around the community. They are wondering if this was a hate crime because it happened right after this menorah display went up in the window. It's the second night of Hanukkah, but hopefully there won't be a second night of vandalism at the Santa Monica Synagogue. People were, of course, very disturbed. The rabbi at Living Torah Center Chabad found feces and rice on the ground and smeared on the windows and front door just before services Sunday morning. It was quite you know, unpleasant. He feels this was a targeted hate crime. No other business on the street had the same mess, and the timing of it during the holidays is that much more suspicious. It was so sad that at this time people should feel that they want to express themselves in such a negative way. Even for those not directly impacted, it feels personal and political. Seeing this happen, if it in fact was something that was targeted, uh, it's really unfortunate that this trend has come to Los Angeles and, and also to Santa Monica. For now, police can't classify it as a hate crime. There was nothing explicitly anti Semitic. But the owner of a nearby foot spa says it has happened to him before. He's always assumed it was the homeless people in the area. Well, a couple of months ago, I remember I came to work and there was uh, feces on the ground, and uh, it was a lot of it actually. I'm Jewish myself, so I really hope it's not, you know, a targeted thing towards, uh, towards Jewish people. The rabbi here says last month a man interrupted services with a Hitler salute and someone dropped off this note with a swastika that reads get out of LA. It's not nice to do not just to our synagogue but any religious institution out there. But just as the light in the story of Hanukkah lasted eight nights instead of one, the joy and support here seems eight times stronger than the hate. It will probably prompt me to do try and do more to show that there's a light of goodness. They have our support as a Santa Monica community. And the rabbi says he does plan to increase security with cameras, and police say they will have extra patrols in the area throughout the holiday. Peter Nelsev, back to you. Okay, Erica, thank you for the update.